chaos. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to get the latest here just to start our foundation service. And let's see what this is all about. It's okay. It is the, um, through SQL back to, I think I yeah. only built enough to get it in principle to a SQL statement. I think last session you built the service to do that and a test and wired up the test to it, didn't you? Oh, not the so, service, just the broker. Just the broker. Oh, okay. Just the broker. So yeah, that, I guess the next thing would be to put the, the service on top of it and then build the O tokens right. on that. And, um, and the, yeah, the thing about this is we want to be able to go and say, so, so, okay, so our input, so our input will be an expression, a normal expression. Let's do this. So our in, input will be a normal expression. It will be whatever, whatever's dot select and then whatever, and then new, whatever dot name, something like that. And then we want to, so that's input, an expression. And then our output would be something like a dollar sign, it will be tokens mostly, but it will be dollar sign select uh, equals, or or actually we can, we can spit it out as uh, raw O data. I think that would work. So select equal and then name, right? Now, the thing is that the SQL, from what I saw, it seems like it's it's pushing out something like this. Do you remember it's if it's giving us a, oh yeah, it was. So it would do something like x dot and then name, yeah, right okay. where blah blah. See what I've noticed is there's been a trend change, if you like, since Azure has come along. Mm -hmm. uh, so the way EF used to work is it would refer to, um, so it's dot notation and there's depths to it, right? So in this case, it's saying um, table dot um, column name, right? Um, what I've noticed is that within a, at the query level, when it says from, mm -hmm. Um, EF used to build queries where it would have a three-part dot notation. So it would say server.database.table name. Mm -hmm. And since Azure's become a thing, um, that switched to a two-part notation because three-part notation is no longer supported because you can't do cross-database queries because there's no guarantee that the database would necessarily live on the same server, I think, is the main reasoning for that. Um, so what we should be noticing from EF core, this is my long winded way of saying this, is the yeah, queries yeah. should be greatly simplified due to things like that, plus improvements that they've made in the query generation. So the right. query should be almost like a, a human written query now with this one exception. Oh. So you're saying that, well, yeah, other than that, it will just be producing this. So let me just tell you this. Here is our test. What we're going to be thinking here is that we can mock mock whatever expression coming in. We just want to make sure it's the same expression. And then we want to be able to go and say, mock a response that looks like SQL. Right? And then we want to be able to return a equivalent in OData queries, basically. So how are we yeah. going to do that? Let's do this together today. Let's see. Yeah. Let's go here. My, my theory was straight up, just do a string split on space or, or you know white space characters, basically. Strip the new lines out, replace them for white space, do a straight string split, build a token for each um, item that you have, and then pre-process it basically back into. My man, I'll give you a test. And then you make it <laughs> <pass. laughs> yeah. Sorry, foundation. Sorry. I've had a little bit of thinking about it, but I've not really kind of um, you know, had a chance yet to play with it. As you know, this week has just been me giving you loads of excuses. I've been so busy, it's crazy. You know no how it is though. No we talked about sideways lists. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Actually, yeah, I, I, I've been meaning to to record a podcast session just to tell people how they can extend time, but we'll come, we'll come back to this in a second. 
Um, Extend time. Oh, that yeah. would be great. <laughs> yep, I'll, I'll make I'll make your hour worth a day. <laughs> nice. I just so, I never seem to have enough time to do anything these days. And then that thing about like um, you know when we were talking about proxying and uh, mocking. Oh, and oh are you going to help that. the mock? I. Uh, do you know what? It's a problem I'm really interested in, and I wanted to have a go at it myself. Of course because... you are. <laughs> Why wouldn't you be interested in that? Everyone else. <laughs> I think. I think. I think mocking, like after doing the session with uh, Scala, you know, that's the, be the beautiful thing about. I told you, Scala is a beautiful language. I told you this, and you know, one of the things that I try to kind of help people see is that the standard is not language specific, right? I want to be able to do something like this, Paul, you know, to mock my dependencies. And by the way, I don't think it's too, I don't think it's too hard to do that. I thought so about my, it a little bit. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. So my thinking is like, if you say I want a new mock of type, you know, because it's generic. Yeah. In C sharp, you should be able to, and, and the reason why I've, I've thought of EF back then is because EF before EF6, when it was old entity framework, right before yeah. it became EF core, they had this concept of entity proxying. I think it's even still in there actually. Yeah. And if you enabled entity proxying, um, you could they would wire up things like lazy loading. So just yeah. like going, you know, entity dot some you know collection property or child entity, it would lazy load that. And the way that it did it was it would wrap a proxy around the object that uh -huh. looked exactly like the object. So you thought you were getting a student. What you were actually getting was a dynamic proxy of type student. Mm -hmm. So that dynamic proxy, from what I understand, was um, it was called a dynamic proxy because what EF actually did under the bonnet was literally generate blocks of code so when you compiled your application it would look at all your entity types and it would generate a dynamic proxy of type t for each entity set right so i was looking at that and thinking hmm there's some gains to be had here we could take advantage of some of the newer features that now belong to the language and the the improvements that have happened to the common language runtime and we could take advantage of something like code generators so yeah. at runtime, we could generate a dynamic proxy of type T, right, uh -huh. for our mocking. So you could just say, give me a new mock of type T. And then at runtime, it could basically do what we're doing already in this library. It could call up Roslyn or something, generate a new type, and then just say, here you go, you've got one of those. And really, all it is is a wraparound to the thing that you want. Yep. So in, then instead of having to say dot object on your mock, you just have the object and it has all this extra mocking functionality built in that you're just not really aware of in your service code that you're testing. Right. It's just right. magic. <laughs> but you know, I reckon we can make it dead simple. Yeah, that's that's the point. That's the thing. You know, the thing about our community is that we have people that can make things work. We have people that can make it right. And we have people that can make it pretty. Sometimes they overlap, but that's the you know, that's the overall, and I'm trying to kind of leverage these, uh, this power to kind of do the right thing with the, with the team. So, okay. So all query service tests. I promise I'm not a junkie, but I'm sat here. I've got like a Red Bull can, a coffee cup. You, you, you want some of my drinks. <laughs> so I had this buddy of mine, uh, he moved up here to, uh, Washington and, um, uh, I told him, you know, okay, for as long he loves Red Bull. He loves, loves, loves Red Bull. And uh, I told him, you know, if, as long as you're here, I'm going to be shipping you a new box of Red Bull every week, you know, on me forever. <laughs> now, question is, question is, what's it like to ship Red Bull to, to England? Okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, mm. <laughs> it's done by weight, basically, isn't it? And I mean, size of package now. So. I mean, your currency is not so hot these days, so that's, I think, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Everything's dirt cheap. Like, your dollars are worth a fortune over here now. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's almost, I think it's almost one, yeah, it's almost one dollar to the pound now. Like, the lowest oh it got uh, was, oh my God. when was it? When uh, Trust tanked it all uh, yeah. a couple of weeks back. And, um and there were some further announcements made, and that that caused some other. You know, I've been watching the stock markets just like all week, just like crash, 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 crash. It's like, what the hell? We're 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 in a recession. We're in a. Uh, you know, recession. in our last session, you were talking about um, 
uh, Boris Johnson getting back in. He gave up the fight today or yesterday. So he just said, no, I'm not going to run. I'm done. And, uh, and he said, oh, yeah, it's just not my time. But I could totally win it if I wanted to. <laughs> he <just> backed away. <laughs> it's like, yeah, OK. Of course. <laughs> you know, out of everything, I think Boris, Boris Johnson is just hilarious. <laughs> That's all I can yeah. think of. I think as long as you're not in a place where his opinion actually doesn't ma does matter, he's hilarious. Like I can watch this guy all day. He's funny, but uh, yeah. But other than that, no. I you know I I wouldn't want to. I wouldn't want to be near this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I always think of uh, Boris Johnson as like you know how the Queen had corgis. Yeah. The dog. I think of yeah. it as like Trump has corgis and and it's like <laughs> Bojo's one of them. <laughs> oh it's just so funny. Like when you look at it like that, you think, yeah, yeah, you can see how they like like they would be best friends, right? Oh, like, no, good know. Bojo, good Bojo, yeah, you just tanked another country for us. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god! <laughs> Sorry for any Bojo supporters out there, but I mean, come on, it's true, right? <laughs> it's, it's it's true. It's the truth. It's the truth. I'm telling you. Anyway, yeah, I I uh, I don't know, man. Um, um, mocked expression, new mock. By the way, have you ever figured out the difference between mock, uh, expression? Sorry, mock off expression versus I think it's just fluent thing. I don't think it matters, actually. I could be wrong. You know, it could be also wrong. Oh, wait, mock of expression will give you the object. Ah, well, that's much better. I like that a lot. So that actually returns. So this is instead of you saying, ah, so we spent all this time going mark dot object when we could have just done mark dot of and it would give us the thing and we but, were like yeah then, that would be then, so much better if we had it oh we we got it but then but then you still need well let's see so if I say var mark to blah equal new sorry mark of uh, mark of uh, I whatever can I can I now do setup ah oh, that's right because you yeah you need to yeah that's the problem. That's the problem, isn't it? Yeah. See, right. my way, you'd have the thing that you think you have would be actually a proxy of the thing you think yeah, you have. Yeah, I know. So you, you'd still have all that functionality there. I, I want to have the simplicity that Scala has in... See, I didn't learn anything from Go. It sucks. I think it's a stupid language, personally. Uh, I didn't learn <laughs> anything from it, but I think Scala has a lot of ideas to share. And I can't wait to see what Kotlin, Java... All of these different languages. I'm also playing with Rust. Um, nice. Not not super impressed so far, but uh, we'll see. The idea here, this is what I call like tick radar, right? Tick radar is a consistent, intentional, systematic pattern of trying to seek realms that you wouldn't be in if you're not seeking this improvement yeah. enhancement. Someone just pinged me on LinkedIn, uh, told me, uh, you know, what, what, when are you going to do it in F sharp? I feel like F sharp. I feel like cheating a little bit because F sharp is pretty much .NET C sharp. You know, there's some differences here and there, but yeah, we'll give it a shot. We'll see what it looks like. Is that not like also asking like when you're going to do it in C plus plus or or VB .NET? You know, it's it's like it's still common language runtime, right? So in theory, you get all all the same features. So you're not really stepping outside that sort of box of comfort zone, really. I speaking like, of try and do it in Brainfuck or Lisp or something. Yeah. I wonder. I wonder if people are still uh, doing a, 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 a search GitHub by programming language. I wonder if, if anyone, if anyone is still, um, if if anyone is still using Visual Basic. Hopefully not. I would love to see that language die. Like, it, it was great as like a basic sort of training starter point back when like programming was a new thing but yeah we've clearly shown now that with languages like c sharp there's much like you can still be a beginner and be and be sort of functional with c sharp okay v vba 
VBA is still around. Well, that's because of Office, isn't it? VBA yeah. is not VB, is it? It's Visual Basic for Applications. Yeah. So it's the variant that's built into Office. It's very similar, though. Well, there's there about there's there's yeah. some people programming in VB. I mean, this was updated twenty days ago, so people are still doing that. Oh, it's a library, Entity Framework Core Visual Basic. Oh, that's the Entity Framework Core team. They have to do this. It's not an option. Who's this, Lucy? This is Alice. My, this is my Alice. One. Yeah. Okay, Alice Say is the little Alice. one. Hey, yeah, Alice. Alice is the little one. <laughs> Alice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look. Can you see? Hello. Who's that? Uh, Ali. It's Alice. Yeah, look. What's that? It's a Sander. He's waving at you. No, this, is, this is the caveman. It's <laughs> daddy. It's daddy, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and, <Ow>. and <laughs> okay. Well, I guess, going, could, yeah. I guess we could do that, Paul. <laughs> Go ahead. So here's a test for you. And... Oh, God, are you expecting me to write code today? Oh, yeah. Oh, damn you, man. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Hang on, man. I'll have to, like, fire up Visual Studio and... Yeah, you got to do the okay. works. Yeah, I need to, like, vacate my daughter. Hang on. <laughs> Why? Let her play. I don't care. I want like code with a child. Should I uh, get uh, O query? Uh, okay, given when... Yeah. Then here you go, and then we want to go and say, ideally we want to randomize this somehow. But uh, here is your, so this is your expression, expression, random expression equal create mocked expression, and then I want to go and say and say a string uh, returned a SQL query. Then I'm going to give you the SQL query here, then. B select. X. Oh, are you okay? Aim. Don't throw up on camera. It's not very fetching. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's not very fetching. Yes. It's not very becoming of a lady, is it? Yeah. Yes. I daddy. That's daddy, yes. <laughs> you know, Paul, the, the thing about kids is, you know, you go and you, um, you, uh, everyone runs away when a kid is about to throw up, except for parents. Parents run and be like, no, 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 please don't, don't go on it before it gets everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you always know the parents, they're the ones with their hands out going, why do I do these things? <laughs> <laughs> why did I not learn when I saw all my friends and family having them? <laughs> I had to get myself into this, didn't I? Why did I do this to myself? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you've not got kids, you will you will not know this pain. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, this is hilarious. I like how the AI is like fighting me. Like AI is like, oh, why did I pass it like that? Am I am I silly? Expression. Here is your expression. Okay, here we go. So it's an expression, and then we have the get, and then I want to go and say actual or query should be equivalent to expected expected query and then this dot mock verify uh let's see here mock verify and then this is let's see here
Where'd you go, Paul? <laughs> Kids. Sorry about that. No worries. Got them settled in front of Peppa Pig. <laughs> oh, Peppa? Peppa the pig? Peppa, yeah. Yeah. We have a huge... Uh, you have a huge Peppa Pig, uh, like a playground in yeah. Chicago. It's huge, biggest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, they have like um, Peppa Pig theme, like areas in theme parks and stuff around here. It seems to be yeah. quite popular, you know. Um, okay. Yeah, the girls love it. Yeah, so this is this is all good. Let's see here, Paul. Uh, 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 yeah, cool. Now I need to kind of confuse things a little bit because otherwise you would, uh, otherwise you'd figure it out. I don't want you to figure it out. So give me a. So here. You just got to inform me, haven't you? It's just like, yeah, let's make it really difficult deliberately. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, you, gotta, you gotta go to town. Gotta go to town. Demonic, demonic thing. Do it right or don't do it. <laughs> so I always tell people, you know, okay, so this is, okay, so I want to do this. Go here and here and here. And say a string, random, SQL variable. I haven't looked at your... Um... You, you gave me a second lot of feedback on that internal mock fix. Yeah. I haven't, look, I haven't looked at that yet. I assume it was all trivial stuff. Yeah, just net picky things. Uh, oh, cool. Random property name. Did I did I not put a new line in the right place or something? Yes. Do it right, Paul. Random thing. Yeah. Sounds like the level of hell I have to suffer dealing with you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Take note, yeah. people. This people, is what it means to meet the standard. Yep, yeah, you know, I meet the standard. I sounds a it. slave driver, I tell you. <laughs> Dude. Uh, so, okay, so variable property name. So that means that this guy is also a thing. Ooh. Okay, I want to also. Let's see this here, Paul. Should I go harder? I think this is okay for now. Let's see what you're gonna do with this, and then maybe we can make it a little bit harder. Let's make it a little harder. bit harder. 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 <laughs> it's like you hate the R letter. It's like the R letter is a problem for you. <laughs> harder. You're talking about vowels are like foreign to most Brits. <laughs> Hey, have you noticed every odd number has the letter E in it? Why is that? Look at your brain. <laughs> Look at your brain going like, what? Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Why How far have you got that? to go before you get a number with a letter A in it? <laughs> oh. Where did, 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 do we even have one with with the letter A? <laughs> I'll let you think on that one. <laughs> or, See, we can both play that game. <laughs> we can play that game forever. Oh, one thousand, <laughs> thousand, yeah, yeah, one thousand. Yeah. Crazy, one <laughs> one hundred. Nope, hundred doesn't have it. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but it's your turn. All right. That's some code, Paul. Fair that, enough. That's that's right. the ticket. The ticket to the party. Let's <laughs> You're do gonna... this. Uh, this with two uh, window. Uh, this one, I guess. Let's yeah. Some code. Let's do it. Right. Uh, Where's your code? Oh yeah, I have to. Yeah. Let's go. Zoom in a little bit. Oh, People watching this on their phones in the bathroom, they need to be able to kind of see your code. Yeah. What? No, just zoom in, dude. Roll the thing. Roll it. Like, roll the wheel of the mouse. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Yeah. Well, no, I, th I thought we might want to see this stuff. Right. So, what um, what branch are we in? Uh, 
Uh, I'm still that, in my breaking stuff branch. That, type in type in O query. O query. O query. O query. Just search like a normal person. You know, you can do it. <laughs> I can't remember how to type. Ah, uh, you need fetch, my friend. I see. This is why I said what branch. You didn't fetch nothing. Coming, coming, God. Sheesh. All right. That's, that's, that's. There that's you go. Painful. Look at you, smart and all. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Wow. Right, by the way, is... by the way here, in, here in the US, when I tell people, you know, smart and all, happy and all, great and all, they don't kind of understand, like, why I'm talking like that. And I think I got that from England back when I lived over there. I would always <laughs> say smart and all, good and all, you know, and people were like, like I used to say smart and all, good and all. <laughs> Instead of all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is the bad boy that I need to implement, right? Yes, sir. This one. Right. So what am I implementing then? Let's just let's run That's through this in. test. What, what does the test really say? The test says um, do some random stuff, generate some random SQL, hmm. and then some random stuff's going to happen and magic's going to come out the other end. Okay. <laughs> that makes sense. So, uh, yeah. What's what's the name of this uh, character from, uh, you know, the magician kid? What is it? Oh, Harry. Harry Potter. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Are they going to make a new one or no? I never watched any of them, by the way. <laughs> Believe it or not, uh, Star, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, uh, none of that. Didn't watch any of that. Uh, Harry Potter... I watched some some Lord of the Rings. I think it was pretty cool, mostly because of Gandalf. I kind of felt we're connected connected with each other, but uh, I didn't go beyond that point. On the opposite Quite side, cool. every Marvel movie you can think of, that's that's there. Okay. Isn't this already implemented in the program? Yeah, yeah. Cool. so I don't really need to See? do anything. Do Does I? that mean the test is over? Um. Well, yeah. I guess we're about to find out, right? Yeah, let's return it. Let's just return it. Because that's what the test says, right? Put the fat arrow in the top line, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to leave it there just to plague you. <laughs> I don't what? know why you put them on the end of the line. I put them there. I, because, I like them. because it's wrong. <laughs> I mean, you say that, but you're American. You don't really understand languages like us Brits. <laughs> mm. You're fascinated by them. We've mm. understood them and moved on from this. Mm. Love it. <laughs> you know, I, I have this friend of mine. She gets really irritated from the word I queryable. She keeps like saying, this is not English. We shouldn't be entertaining this. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened? Right. It doesn't so, look uh, like your test passed. Yeah, it didn't, didn't look like it passed, did it? Why? Uh, expected actual query to be equivalent to select equals hack. <laughs> That's funny. Mm. Uh, uh, oh, okay. So you want... Hey, Paul, push a space before from in the test. Um, space before from? Yeah, you see in the test line 32, push a space after the word. Yeah, there yeah. you go. You could just put it on the line above it, but that's fine too. Mm -hmm. So what are we going to do? Looks like you're missing something. There you go. There you go. That's my brother right there. <laughs> Run it again, then, just to make sure we haven't broken anything. Yeah. That wasn't already broken. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's definitely broken in the same way. Okay. So what you're saying is the dot notation that's being used here. Um, can I have a bit more space? Because this is silly. Sure. Uh, so the dot notation that we're using here. Um, our test is saying what we actually want is this part of it. Yeah. Um, following our dollar select, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So, what we implemented in the broker was this just returns a raw SQL string, doesn't it? So, mm -hmm. this is only half the problem because at this point, there you go. Our SQL is our um, our SQL query, um, and then as I was saying before, I think. Um, oh. We want to do something like parse equals SQL dot split. Okay. Um, and then for now, let's just do this. 
Okay. Uh, what we can do is we can have a look at, let's put breakpoint here, and we'll debug our test and see what we've actually got. Sure. And it doesn't even build. Oh, because oh, yeah, it didn't return. You have to return but, something. You could yeah. say return default or something. Uh, return. Sure. Right. So yeah, if we do if we do this actually, it's useful. Um, and you kind of get where I was thinking with it. So here's our actual SQL query. It's an array. Uh, which now we can't see anything. Wow. There you go. Uh, can you see that? Okay. Yeah. Brilliant. Look at this so, randomized. Amazing. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the, yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, so. This is what I was talking about, about the uh, the dot notation, right? So we're getting that, and what we want is this bit of it. Oh, stop. Turn right there with me. Yeah. We want this bit of it, and we want to ignore this, right? And ignore the other one. Ignore the brackets, essentially. And a slap an equal sign there. We want an equal in there, yeah. And everything and then... else falls off. And then this just goes away, does it? Yep. Yep. Just as simple right. as that. It's okay. really simple. Um, do we want to make sure that we too lower the select as well? Is this going to be a? We should, probably. We should. Okay. Um, well, I did make it lower, so even if you keep it upper, it's going to freak out. It's going to say invalid. So. Yeah, that makes sense. So we probably want some method in here. Uh, mm. String lower. Uh, keyword, right? Okay. Sure. So let's do that. So we'll pass in a string, which is our keyword, mm -hmm. and we'll say, um, uh, I think we can do an expression body. What's it on this, can't we? So we can say switch keyword. Um, well, you're not going to lower everything. Just to, you want to keep the. Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the default case. Would just be to uh, to return our uh, keyword, right? Mm -hmm. uh, keyword. Uh, so we'll we'll run everything through the function, and if it doesn't match the case, like uh, select goes to dollar sign select equal. To, uh, that's pro there's probably a smart way of doing this actually. We um, define like a static array, and then say if it's in that array, it's probably a better way, isn't it? Yeah. Just be careful because there might be a situation where you have select as a property name. So I'm gonna play with you this way, but keep going. Hmm. This is fun. Yeah. We're I'm playing. I'm just thinking the simple cases right now, right? Uh -huh. So select uh, from. Yeah. Yeah. And where you could throw away Probably. where as well. If we make this convert keyword. Probably want to define this as a dictionary, right? Mm -hmm. um, this would be smart, wouldn't it? String, string. Because yeah, yeah. then we can say, um, let's back out of this. Am I thinking too far ahead? I just want enough code to make the test green, whatever it just takes. Enough code. Okay, so we can come back to this stuff. Um, my thinking is that you can build a spaceship for all I care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Uh, isn't this how you do use dictionary initializers? Yeah, yeah, you're fine. Do a new, new dictionary. New dictionary. Yeah, and you need to probably give your dictionary. Yeah, you already called it keywords. Now you just need to pull references. There you go. Cool. Look at you, smart and all. Yeah. So I can say something like dollar select here. Yeah. And. Mm -hmm. Why don't you just say dollar select equal while you're at it? Yeah. Do you have to run? Uh, someone in London. I don't trust O two O numbers. <laughs> They're normally routed through India, so it'll be someone from. It's probably Microsoft support actually calling me from India. Um, so, okay. Uh, right. So if uh, uh, keywords dot contains key 
keyword, which is where I was kind of going with it. Mm. Um, return uh, keywords of keyword dot value. Yeah, there you go. There you go. No, no, that's it. That's it. And then we can turn that into a. How do you feel about ternaries? No, why? 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 Why don't you just do a pattern match like a normal human being? Because my thinking is you could do something like. Sure. You're gonna have to put the fat. Uh, well, you need a scope now because it's multi-liner. Uh, so once it spans over one line, you need to kind of put a squiggly there. You know what I mean? I can one-line it. And it's gonna be over 120 characters. You reckon? I think so. I reckon. Yes, I reckon. How big is it? 73. Then then you can leave it this way then. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I th I think I thought you would prefer it with the I would like if this. you if you put a scope there. Like okay. if if it goes over but if you I'll do, do it. that then cuz I know you're going to nitpick at it. <laughs> <laughs> cuz you're good like that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> See what All I right. put up with guys? It's just ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, so yeah, that's that's it. You'll probably want that on a new line as well, wouldn't you? Yeah. You know when you do this, do you? you would you indent the these scopes as yes. well? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Right. Um, so yeah, in here I was thinking. Um... So okay, so you got the select, but the real part in here is the part where you go and say, "Give me everything that has period." And open, per, uh, open, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, braces. Yeah. Um, so my, my initial thoughts of kind of um, is to basically split on from and just take everything before from and just ignore the rest. And then obviously as the implementation goes on, that's not going to be acceptable, right? Sure. Because we'll have to add more functionality. But yeah. to meet the requirements of the test, yeah, I could probably do something like split on from, yeah, and then, um, then take the, the first element in that array, yeah. Um, obviously, I'm making assumptions at this point um, because I know the test is structured such so, that. So, so my job is to make sure that the test drives you to write a better implementation. Do your thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah okay so um the next thing i would say then is uh oh god americanized keyboards <laughs> god. all right so we split all this stuff out now i've got my parts that i care about so what this should give me is this, this part. part of it yeah in an array that contains two parts so now i know i can run so i can say um var result equals uh let's say a new list of um strings let's go with that and then we'll say like for each um, but part in parts let's uh, uh so we'll run our parts through our convert keyword function yeah We'll put that into our result. Not to add. Not to pick up C. Well, okay. right. And then we return our result, but we'll do a string dot join on that. Um, we don't need to join it with anything, I don't think. Okay. Um, now. It's not going to work, but okay. What do you it's mean it's not, not gonna work? work. It's not gonna work okay. because it's gonna include that path. You still need to get rid of that. Open yeah. Code. Yep. So if this is, um, we probably want like a, a clean property function, right? Sure. So method. There we go. Uh, so now I can say, okay, from my um, property reference. Uh, again, lots of assumptions being made in this code, but Let's keep going. Might work. Get a start um, somewhere, right? 
Yeah. Well, exactly. Yeah. So we can do dot. Uh, let's uh, split this on the um, dot, and then what we'll do is we'll take the the last element because that's the only yeah. one we care about, and then we'll say I want to trim any of these dot to char. Ah, uh, okay. Let's see. And then, oh, sorry. <laughs> fat, fat arrow stuff in the right places. Uh huh. There we go. Um, and then, oh, you want the scope back now, aren't you? Do that. Yeah, you can't do that. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta stay on the. All right. There we go. All right. So um, that's still not going to work, but sure, let's try it. Well, let's see what that spits out, right? Yeah, um, sure. So let's go back to our. I mean, if you run your test, it'll tell you this is not equivalent to this. Um, yeah, that's not my channel. Let's do it. What? what? It's not going to work, Hassan. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> it does to me. Wait, 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 wait. Scroll down. Scroll down. You did open close uh, trim the line 57. Oh, you put it as a char array and you said split. Aha. I see what you did. Magic. <laughs> okay, give it back to me. Give it back to me. I'm going to make it more interesting for you. No. All right. What well, uh, commit comment? Uh, is this this it's is foundations, right? Foundations. Roll, for, nope, 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 nope. Take away the comments in line twenty-four and twenty-five. Take away uh, these comments. Oh yeah. Oh god, you don't want clean commits, do you? Jeez. And go all with you. Go to the this. <laughs> double click on the this name and put it with a thin arrow as paths. Uh, you want this? Just the this name. So yeah. Foundations. Nope, nope. And just paste. Then... Just paste the test name. That foundation oh. is for the PR, and then okay. space the arrow. Pass. pass. Space. Pass. Pass or pass. No pass, but also pass. pass. But you also need a thin arrow there. Thin arrow. Gosh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> You just like to mess around with me, huh? Okay. I intended to change it just to annoy you. <laughs> okay. okay, that's fair. All right, we good? Right. Uh, yeah. So changes, yes. Yeah, so. You know you can commit and push at the same time, right? Yeah, but I like to give myself the extra clicks just, you know, because it, it gives me like that extra verification process because between each of these clicks, I'm thinking through the process. So. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah. okay. Wow, that's that's great. <laughs> okay, let's run this. Let's make it a little bit more uh, more interesting for you. Did, did I just perform some magic there that you didn't understand? <laughs> yeah, went right over my head. I've never seen that before. Uh, when when you write a CSV parser, you start to learn how to manipulate strings quite well. <laughs> yeah. Um, Okay, my friend. So here's what I'm going to do for you now. I'm going to go and say private static string generate random SQL query properties. Do that. So here is random number. Get random number. Can we actually do this in nine minutes? We'll see. I'll leave you with a failing test and then new nim, uh, uh, int range somewhere between minimum of two and maximum of 10 inclusive. So that takes care of that. And then I want to go and say, uh, Paul, can you hear anything in the background? Can you hear like a robot going nuts or anything in no, my I'm background? Like mute if I'm picking up noise. No, no, no. In my, my background. Oh no, I'm not hearing much. Okay, hey, I have oh, a good. lunatic little robot in the background. Oh yeah, I had just heard it then. It's, it's very faint though. 
It's very chatty that robot, isn't it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, oh. You mentioned it. I need I need to throw it away. What does it do? Just it's just this it, it's uh, it's AI powered, and um, so it's, it's just like a little it, pet thing. Yeah, it's learning about your environment, and so, then it's, so it's the robotic app. equivalent of a Tamagotchi. Mm, there you Do go. You remember those? <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's that's a good start. There you go. Um, <laughs> uh, let's see, random number, and then select. Hey, Vector, go to sleep. <laughs> there you go. Shut him up. Check that out. Um, during this stream, I managed to fix a complex calculation, discount calculations. I'm so proud of you. Yeah. I'm on fire today. I don't know why. Good. Good Monday. Make, Good make Monday. the most of it, because that's off like Wednesday when we pick up the next session. I'm going to be like, duh, woof, woof, woof. <laughs> 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 uh, properties equal properties that's our guy and then I want to return here I want to take that nice little query that we did here started watching them person of interest again this will be my third run through it I'm obsessed with it have you ever seen that mm. it's, a, it's a TV series I'll watch it's, it. It's ba oh, it's really good. It's, so it's based on this guy who creates a system, and it watches everyone, everywhere, everything, like all electronics, all CD CCTV cameras, emails, everything, right? Okay. okay. And basically what it does is they black boxed it, and it will spit out a social security number of somebody who's about to be in a serious crime in some way or another. And they're either the victim or they're the perpetrator. And these guys go in and they investigate and they figure out what's going on. And later on, as the season goes on, the, the fight becomes for control of this system. And it was originally designed to be completely locked down. So they couldn't do anything but get these numbers out. And they try to build mm -hmm. a second version of it and things. And it, it really heats up. And then there's like an AI war and everything. And I was really annoyed that they never made a season six of it because that was that was the point where the two AIs come to heads right at the end of season five. Okay. You'll love it. You'll love it. It's right up like if you're a programmer, like I've never met a programmer that doesn't love that series. You okay, I'll watch, watch it. it. Yeah. I'll watch it then. Uh what is this guy tripping about? Uh params, separator, values. Uh the call is ambiguous. Ambiguous between what? String join an innumerable string. What? I'm not expecting this to fail, by the way, if you're doing what I think you're doing. Oh, yeah? You think so? Yeah, because you're just selecting oh. multiple properties, right? Yeah, I think it's going to fail. I just want to see why is this guy tripping. Uh, wrap, unwrap. It's saying the call is ambiguous. Why? It doesn't like innumerable? Oh, I might do because of the um, separators between them. You need to put commas in, don't you? But if I take this and I take this out, it's still tripping. Yeah, it is. That sucks. Let's see. The call the call is ambiguous between the following methods or properties. String dot join. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, innumerable, I innumerable, and string. Okay. Uh, what what did they call it as a parameter though? Let's see. There you go. So there is a there is a call and the values are similar. And then I'm letting it kind of make the decision for itself. So now if I do this, I can go back here, my friend, and I can go and say, hey, hey this is your uh, SQL properties. So you're enforcing a separator that is a comma and a space as opposed to just a comma. Yeah. Because that's what's going to happen, right? Well. I don't know, because like, I think the standard only requires the comma, right? Yeah. Um, the space is just an optional formatting thing for, that humans sometimes put in there just to make queries more readable. Right. Um, but if you think about how that translates to so like a HTTP request, that will be translated into a percentage 20, so it would be slightly less efficient. Right. <laughs> uh, that's right. Uh, let me... 
So I also need to give you oh so this is, might be even a tuple of things because you need a list of strings. You also need the array, don't you? Because that's that's how I'm gonna be able to generate the equivalent in uh so okay, so this is here the string query. And this should be uppercase by the way, if you're gonna extract a function from it. Lens system in here. And then uh what's the thinking there? Because I tend to use the, the CLR ones rather than the C sharp ones, if that makes sense. Well so like it. string, for example, I don't use uppercase S. Uh -huh. So when I define a new string, I use the lowercase s version. So why are you differentiating there with string.join? Because your primitive type is not supposed to have functions in it. It's a primitive type. It's supposed to be at its at its most non non functional form. They they map to the same thing, don't they? Unfortunately, yes. It's wrong. Uh, Okay, so you're you're putting a the standard standard in there to differentiate them, but knowing that under the bonnet they are the same thing. Yeah, because I'm gonna have to rewrite C sharp at some point. Oh, well, that's a trivial job. Yeah, we can do that next week if you like. Yeah, it's not a problem. And then the entity framework, and then <laughs> <laughs> gonna make a lot of enemies in the community. Like, yeah, you know all this code that you just spent the last like three decades looking after. Yeah, it's all crap. At some, at some point, someone is, gonna, <laughs> someone is gonna become very aware of this, and then they're gonna be like, "Dude, uh, what are you doing?" <laughs> and it's gonna be hilarious. Uh, so this is this property. Yes. I just won a proper argument with the CFO of a pain in the ass company. <laughs> Sorry. What do you want to? They're, they're like a client of our client, right? And they're a real pain in the ass because they, they talk to our API and they constantly tell us that our API is wrong. And basically the context, without giving any key information away, the context was over 2.4 million euros went missing in our system somewhere, um, supposedly. They just didn't request it, basically. So because they didn't request the data, they then didn't pay the supplier the amount that they were supposed to pay them. And then they blamed us. And then we were like, nah, like our API is open. Just query it. The fact that you don't ask the question, it's not our problem. <laughs> there you go, Paul. So this is this guy and then string. Nice. Get random. You're saying that your your thing is still going to work even with this change? Uh, I think it's going to require, thinking about it, it's going to require a, a very small change just to put the... Um, the commas in there, the commas and spaces between the property names. But other than yeah. that, it should be um, pretty much right. A random SQL, random table name. There you go. That's the guy I want. But the SQL variable we don't care about, actually. Wow, this guy from Microsoft really wants to get hold of me. <laughs> Three voicemails, five missed calls. Like, I don't care, mate. You, you've taken five months to solve my problem. You finally solved it. Now you want me to close your ticket in under an hour. Sorry, but I've got other things to do. Yeah, let's see. Okay, we have a failure. Are you proud of that? Oh, yeah. We have a failure and expected query to be blah, 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 blah. And your query is not working. Great. Love it. So this is a failing oh. test. For you, but we are also at time. So go have fun. By the way, it's going to be a tiny change, like you said. Yeah. But uh, thank Do you, you want me to fix that on Wednesday on stream or should I just fix it in the week? All right. I think it's okay. You can fix it. You All know, right, no worries. let's connect yeah. Wednesday. Okay. Thanks so much, Paul. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Bye. <laughs>